despite the fact that this is the uh, the state that has gotten the biggest migration of people from across the country to it in the last three years, um, you are being told now, if you turn on CNN and certain channels, that this state, the Sunshine State, is actually a terrorist state for, well, here is Democrat activist Aisha Mills. Listen to this one. Play four. I think it was extremely clever um, and, and I really appreciate the NAACP's guidance uh, on this issue. You know, I just took my family to, to spring break in Florida recently, and I think about all of the folks who traveled there for sun and joy um, and peace and restoration. And to be reminded that actually this is getting to the point where Florida is about to be a terrorist state to, to many of us here in America, certainly as a lesbian, as a black woman, I don't want to have anything to do with the place what I, I just want to know i would be fascinated to find out what it is that she is what is the terror that she is worried about that affects black people and lesbians in florida um like what is this even so i i really mean this like what ron DeSantis is making disney live by the same rules as every other corporation including you know universal studios etc in the state that's that's terrifying for that Ron DeSantis doesn't want second graders being told about, you know, uh, all kinds of sexual stuff in the, in the classroom. I, I was I didn't have uh, I had zero sex instruction until high school. Right. And that and it was very minimal in high school. But like there was I mean, classroom instruction. Right. W- what's the like, what are they even talking about, Clay? Like, w- w- what is this? Florida is a terrorist state for 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 people of color, for LGBTQIA plus people, it's actually a booming state that's really safe relative to other states of similar population where people are moving from all over the country of all races, creeds, colors, etc. as fast as they can. It, it, to me, it, this is a perfect distillation of both how a large organization, large institution ceases to have any legitimacy because... The NAACP has a very impressive history. But if you are black and you live in Florida, as the NAACP board chair does, who will play his audio here in a moment, this goes to my point of when an institution tells you something that you know is not true and saying to black people, you are not safe in Florida, And saying to gay people, you are not safe in Florida, that's a lie. And everyone who is coming to Florida, for instance, this coming weekend, Buck, for Memorial Day weekend travel, and there will be, what do you think, millions of people probably heading to Florida for Memorial Day weekend? That would not surprise me. That's probably the number. They all know this is a lie. If you are with your family and you're black, and you're walking around Universal Studios or Disney World, as tens of thousands of black families will do, probably over Memorial Day weekend, or you're going to Miami to go to the beach and hang out with your friends and family. This is a lie, and it's such a transparent lie, and not only is it a transparent lie, Buck, the timing on it. This is an attempt to hit Ron DeSantis with a transparent lie right as he is preparing to announce that he's going to run for president. And there's audio here uh, of the NAACP Board of Directors Chair, Leon Russell. He actually lives in Florida. And he was asked about this. You're going to love his response. Listen to Cut 5. need to understand that it's not, not about money. It's about people. It's about humanity. Second And thirdly, quite frankly, we have a We haven't told anybody to leave. In fact, the NAACP is encouraging folks to stay here and fight. If there was ever a reason to stand your ground, it's black people, LGBT community, the immigrant community, women need to stand our ground in Florida and fight. Okay, yeah, it's certainly a... It's, I'll cut him off there. It's certainly a political uh, fight. Buck, when you tell people not to visit, And then when you're asked, because it's not safe, somebody says, hey, but you live here. And his response is, we haven't told anybody to leave. So wait, 
it's safe for black people to spend all of their time in Florida and live there with their families, but it's not safe to visit. I mean, like this is this is not even logically coherent. I mean, okay, there's there's so much here. First of all, they hate Florida on the left, whether it's, you know, the NAACP activists or LGBTQIA activists or, you know, the mainstream sort of other Democrat entities you could point to. They hate Florida because it is super successful and being governed in a conservative fashion. That's why they despise it. They have no pro- the, the problems they have with Florida have nothing to do with, oh, it's unsafe for black people to be there or, oh, there's targeting of the LGBTQIA community or whatever. No, they hate it because it's working so well. And it's working so well based on philosophy and politics that they don't like. But this whole thing of, oh, I'm scared to go there and, you know, people are not valued there and all that, that is total projection. It is nonsense. It is garbage. That is not the reality of Florida at all. I mean, there there are there are weekends here. I mean, I've, I've been there. You go to Miami Beach and they're widely celebrated as being gathering, uh, you know, gathering weekends of the black community in Florida. Yeah. Right. And, and, and nationwide. But I mean, you know, the, like this idea that it's not safe for for black people to be in Florida is th- this is complete fantasy land stuff. And in fact, if anything, you're looking at a, a state that has been safer for everyone relative to the crime waves that have hit other other places across the country, especially big cities. We're talking to you know, Miami, Tampa, um, et cetera. And, and so I just think it's interesting This is the Democrat mindset. They will lie about a place that is doing really well, that is showing everybody a better way. And it's a better way. Clay, there are people. So just to give you a sense of this, in in places like uh, like Overton in Miami, which is a historically black neighborhood, you know what's happening in Overton right now? Black families that have lived there maybe two, three generations, they're getting a million dollars for their 1,200 square foot house, right? This, you know, there, there, there should be a sense of, oh, my gosh, this is going so well. Like, people are moving here. They want to be here. People feel safer and safer. But instead of celebrating the wins that everybody is having across the board, they're saying it's a terrorist state for people of color. And, and this woman said lesbians. I mean, I, I hadn't heard anyone say that lesbians were scared of going to Florida. That was new. I would bet that Florida has way higher of a population gay wise than your average state right like i would bet that it over indexes for gay population as well yeah i mean and, miami and Buc- beach is a historically historically gay very population. you know uh, gay and lesbian friendly there are there are specifically gay friendly uh, and lesbian friendly hotels or lgbtq you know rain there are there are hotels all up and down the main strip on collins that sh- that have you know fly the pride flag year round and are you know welcoming to that community so it's, it's just, I'm just saying, this is rooted in nothing. This is spite at success because someone's doing better with a different politics than, than they want them to. That's the reality. I just can't get past the NAACP head when confronted and asked, hey, if Florida's so awful, why do you live in, in Tampa yourself? His response is, we haven't told anybody to leave, Okay. If you were really of the belief that Florida was a terrorist state, wouldn't the first thing you would tell people to do be to leave? It wouldn't be, hey, don't go on vacation there for some relatively short experience on the ground. It would be, hey, you got to get your boots off the ground. You got to get out of the state. Now, it's laughably absurd but he's actually not even able to follow the logic of his organization's own statement when he's saying, we're not telling anybody to leave. We're just telling them not to come visit because it's so not safe for black and uh, gay people. Well, if it's so not safe for black and gay people, you should be telling everybody to leave. That's more important than don't come on vacation because you're not staying permanently if you're coming on vacation. All this is ridiculous, but I want to play... Uh, the the next iteration, which is the argument that people are dying. We'll play that when we come back, uh, Buck. But this is maybe the dumbest argument I have seen. And I can't imagine that there's very many black people that are seeing this argument and in any way trusting the NAACP over it. I, I think they're blowing themselves up here. 